Hello, it's Sarah, and I want to get started, you guys. This is going to be my ornament share 2020. Um, let's get started. It all started with these guys. I just went and bought some wooden discs, and I think traced these images from either cards, you know, greeting cards, or I don't even know, coloring books, and I just painted them the best I could, but they started it all. 1988 that was so from there uh, I met someone from my neighborhood that belonged to the chapter the local chapter of the um, decorative let's see the, it was called Shore Pines Decorative Artists and I so I joined oh it was the Society of Decorative Painters so I joined that and then we met monthly and we would do a lot of little projects there um, one of them was this, and, and Christmas is such a great time to paint, so I ended up painting a lot of ornaments. Uh, this one has 04 on it, and I'm not sure that that was the first time I ever painted this, but since then I redid it, for, and it's a YouTube video. I used a bit bigger brush, so this is probably a 2 inch. I did this in 14, so 10 years later I redid it. And I decided to use a little bit of mixed media, so I would I glued a button on, and I used a piece of um, sticky back canvas for his face, so that you wouldn't see the brush marks as much. Which this is just metal, but I mean that's part of recycling, so it's not that big a deal. But you know, I thought I was so smart putting this on there, and it really made it a much better surface to paint on. So there's those ten years apart. Um. And then, I mean, these are popsicle sticks, right? Old St. Nick, Snowball Fight, and Guardian Angel. And I sold these at craft shows. This is from 2000. Um, I was disappointed when I went through these that I did not put the date on a lot of them. Um, but these are some of my very first, well, obviously 2000. That was a long time ago. Um, let's just, what right? what's right in front of me is I have these. I know for a fact I painted this one. And this Santa and this, actually I don't, I, I, I'm pretty sure that I, I painted these at Chapter as well. We had, we had um, professional teachers that would come in, but a lot of times just some of the girls from the Chapter would teach a class. They would supply the wood, they would supply the instruction and all that stuff. And I can tell, like there's no date on here, but I can tell that I was still getting the hang of it, you know, um, just by looking at the way I loaded my brush when I did the beard compared to this year's Santa beard, right? Like this guy. You can just see a lot more of the stroke work in this beard than you can in this beard because I, I went a little heavy because I'm a heavy hand. Anyway, then this guy was just a real basic Santa that we did and I did not put my put the date or anything and see uh, Sharon or Shannon I forget see how you can do the cheeks this way too you don't have to bleed them up you can do them that way it's just a different look but again his beard wasn't very liney it was more painted in and then this little Rudolph this was one of my oh man I can't believe I want to say this had to be in the 90s too. Oh wait, I see it. 97. It's written in gold right here. Sarah 1997. Wow, I should make that darker. That's crazy, but I can tell by the way I paint now that this was one of my earlier ones. So all those. And then from chapter, I started taking classes. Um, I took them with Vicki Schwartz. These are actually by Arlene Newman, I'm pretty sure. These are her pattern packet. So these aren't ornaments. These are just little Santas. I started collecting Santas and making things that, you know, I could just have as decorations. But this was done in 99. She lives in um, Wall Township in Brick, New Jersey, up north a little bit. Only It's like an hour from me, I think. And I took classes from her for a while, for like, 
I mean, probably a couple years. I don't remember. 99. Wow. So, yeah, these and these were her patterns. She actually would um, create her own patterns and teach them at convention and stuff like that. And these are these have been around for a while. They've been at my house, like sitting here. And then this is an Arlene Newman. I know this is like one of those shaker boxes. This is what I'm going to put them all in. So this is like a sh one of those shaker boxes. I think that's what they call it. And it just has a Santa on the top. But guys, there is no date on this. Again, it's so annoying because... I would love to see that now. I don't understand why I didn't put the date, but I'm going to start putting these in here <laughs> because I have a lot of stuff on my desk. And as I um, show them to you, I'm just going to um, fill up my box here. So then, let's see. Okay, so these guys are done. I also took classes with another woman. Her name was Vicki Schwartz. Schwartz. She lived about half an hour from here. And what was great about her was she loved country, which I didn't really love country, but she painted on a lot of tin surfaces and different surfaces that you couldn't get around here. Or, you know, they, they didn't sell this stuff. This is from 2000. So she supplied the surface as well, which was cool. And I was just as attracted to the surfaces as I was the piece a lot of times, you know, because, and I hang this in my house, um, well, at the holidays, because I have a basket rack. So I just hang him on my basket rack. But this is from 2000. And here's another one that I did with Vicki. And guess who this design is? Do you recognize it? It's Plum Purdy. But there's no date on here. But so she had the metal trees. And I want to say I painted this with Vicki. I can't be sure because I did buy some of these things when I would go to convention and stuff. But it's likely that it was at Vicki's. Um, but that's a Plum Purdy. And then this is definitely a make and take from Vicki's as well. And she would just get a little, like, go to the thrift store and buy a bunch of these cheap um, cook, um, candy jars. And then have her husband cut some wood pieces and then we would just make a little make and take and this is from 04 and then I added this uh, the glitter this year because I found this in the basement um, and I decided to use it this year so I have that what else did I make at Vicky's <coughs> I want to say we made these and I bought a bunch of these from her she had these little wood turning guys right and then we did a penguin and a Santa. I don't remember, to be honest with you, but I'm just saying, generally when I did a piece that was a different kind of surface that you wouldn't just get at the craft store, it was at Vicky's or something because she supplied it, you know. Um, and this looks pretty, I don't know, pretty, um, but look at the Santa. You see how his beard is done? with big strokes with a, a round brush isn't that cute I love it and then this stuff is the um, snow tech it's like a dimensional snow that we put on the fur and the fur of his hat but yeah isn't that cool and then we did so here's another one in a, di in a different size same thing same Santa but he's just in a different size uh, Oh, and he has little strokes around his hat, so it's not, well, so does he. Anyway, and then here's the same penguin in a different. Um, so those are those. Let's see. This, I want to say, is it's a remake because I, I painted this very early on at, the, um, at my chapter. Um, but then I redid her, and I taught her myself when I was um, teaching in the basement. Um, and I just love... This is stroke work and floating and washes. So it's a very, uh, it's a good piece. It's small. You walk away with a little something, but yet you get a lot of technique. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, the line work with the gold paint, little dip dot word, you know, like, so you get a, little, a lot of bang for your buck, but I didn't put a date on it either. And then here's another one. I don't know, 2003. And I just put the glitter on them, but I'm not sure I like that. 
you know, just to jazz it up because I love everything glittery. And I want to say this is Renee Mullins, but I'm not sure. Um, and it could have been a make and take um, or a free one. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Um, this is something that I ordered from an online store that came with these little pieces and then I covered it with paper. This, this needs to go in my mixed media section. I'm going to put that over here. But this is what I was going to... This is one of... Her name is... Something Price, I want to say. I can picture her. Mm, I can't think of her name. But I have books by her. And I love... This is from 03. And I love this. And I still do. And at the time... I would just hang her around the house. But she is a winter angel, but she's very country. But look how I did her hair and everything. She's just so cute. Oh, three. And I love her. So I'm going to put her. Man, I have a lot, guys. Um, you've seen most of my Plum Purdy ones. These are Maxine Thomas. And they are on a, um, a tin surface. So I want to say Vicky's again because she would supply us with these tin things. Although, a lot of times when you get a pattern packet or the book, they will also list the supply source where they get their um, substrate from. So this says, Happy Holidays, and it's from 01. So 19 years ago. But look how small and intricate. Look at this little cardinal. See, sometimes I love painting small. And look at the tiny berries. OMG. And then it's just a hint of the trees are in the background. They're just pushed into the background. So cute. And then the Santa. And look at his jingle bells on his... Um, and look at the way um, Maxine did the beard and the mustache. Totally different. See, these are real artists that just use their imaginations to make their designs. I love it. 2001. So those can come in here. Let's see. Um, I put these in here. This is, her name is Susie something. Susie. She does a bunch of different faces. She does, she has lots of these Santas. And so this was from 03. But this was her thing. She would just do faces with Santas. So she had a bunch of these. This was mine from last year. These are bigger than tongue depressors. This actually, it's a little painting and mixed media. It's mixed. And then these are by, and there's a star. I don't know where my star is. Um, her name is Deb Antonock or something like that. Oh, here it is. And I did these on YouTube. So if you guys want to see these, I did a tutorial for these, I'm pretty sure. And this had a little bit of mixed media because she used book pages for the wings. So I cut these out of, um, you know, a little scrap wood or whatever. Super simple. But I just love them so much. Like, that's the thing. It's so exciting when I put the tree up every year. I get to pull these out again and see what I've made over the years. Um, and then these are just some of the um, plum, I mean, what's her name? Tracy Moreau's um, Random Acts of Kindness. I got to put a hanger on this one. This was the little uh, pins. She had pins, but I'm going to put a hanger on him. These are just little mini popsicle sticks. Super simple for a make and take. This one was one of my faves. I did this. Um, it says, when you stop believing in Santa, you get socks and underwear. <laughs> but he has... Uh, Book Pages Beard, and then this was another Tracy Moreau, 2017, so I did these two, well, last Christmas, I think, but, um, and I had these, I had tons of these and didn't know what to do with them, and I just made them into a little snowflake ornament, and then this is a uh, random, act, mat, random act of kindness, too. I should put the date on here. Um, let's see. I'm just going to put 2017 because that's approximately, this says 2018, so that was last year. All right, so all these go in here. And then I had found these, you know, guys, I regret not going to AC Moore. AC Moore is closed. 
and they had different types of wood than Michael's. Like so, for instance, you guys have seen these. These are my. Um, I did the gingerbread tutorial, and I did this little guy, and these little, these big paper clips. These were from AC Moore, and I think I only have like one more of them. They, um, they are for sale at Plum Party. Plum Party does supply them. But you can't use a coupon. You know what I mean? Like, I missed out. I should have gotten at least one more. or two, You know, because I have other patterns that I want to use. So these are both from this year. And I did put the year, 2019. 2019. Um, but yeah, so I would, whenever I found three-dimensional things, I really love those. And I would, so here's two. And I think we did him at chapter. This is from 02. I think this is from chapter. I think someone supplied these and taught this at a chapter meeting. So cute. Just a little ornament. Little tin soldier. And then this, I just made it up myself. And I think I stenciled snowflakes on them. Like, I can see that. I used... This is when I started um, doing mixed media. I started adding other types of things to the to the painted piece. I liked mixing the medias. And I should glue these to his little hands. I used wire for his hands, for his arms instead of wood, you know. And then this is just like, I think, probably stick um, in the sticker department. These little um, Christmas lights. So he's so cute. Again, no date. Um, then these are all my Plum Purdies. This is my this year Plum Purdy collection. And I did end up adding a little bit of um, glossy accents to the ornaments. Just to give them a little shine. I put these on my YouTube, I mean Facebook page. But these I bought and I put 2020 because that's actually when I painted them. Because um, I just painted them in January. But um, they're from... So these, yeah, these weren't on the tray this year. Um, he was. He was on the tray. And I put 2019 because I signed my name right there. This was the um, the Merry Christmas one that was a Plum Purdy design. And then I shrunk it down. And I think I did this on my YouTube channel. But it was big like this. So I put 2019. And I will probably hang this on a doorknob or something. I mean, it could be an ornament. I love it though. It's a big tag. And then these are different. Um, I ordered the wood from her for these kitty cats. And let's see. I cut these myself. So I ordered the wood. I love these kitty cats. Like these just make me happy. But you, I ordered it came as a set. So you got the three-dimensional star. Um... And then I use snow tech on these, which sometimes it's just fun to see that on some things. I don't use it all the time. I think mine's probably dried up. But I put glitter on the star and I put um, glossy accents on the little heart. So cute. And here's another kitty cat. Look at the candy cane. So much detail. And 2015 I did these. And they're Renee. And here, this is just mittens with cardinals. But it has that um, extra little piece of a snow a snowflake button. Then she supplied this in the kit. I want to say it's a pattern packet, but it might be. And this is 2014. So this is 2015, see? So I ordered these 2014, and then I ordered these. So I've been kind of adding a lot. She has a lot of cute Christmas patterns, that's why. Um, these guys were from this year. And I, my... Um, my Dremel broke when I was trying to drill the hole in this one because I, I managed to drill these. So I'll just glue, I'll just glue the, um, I could probably fix that. And um, I'll glue the hanger on to this one like this. See, this is another, I'm pretty sure I did this on camera for you guys on YouTube. Um, it's from 2014. And it wasn't meant to be an ornament. I just cut a piece of wood into the size and shape and just decided to make them into one. And he hung on my tree this year. So cute. And I put glossy accents for his glasses. But see, I just glued the hanger and put a little ribbon on the back and covered it with paper to finish it off. 
super cute. I love that one so much. So yeah, I'll do something like that to put the hanger on here. I think these were from a book. I don't think they were a pattern packet. I think they were in one of the books. I'm not positive, but um, I cut the wood for these um, on our bandsaw. So this one is paper mache. And let's see, 2015. But I like it because um, it has a lot of... I put glossy accents. This is um, puffy paint. I used puffy paint to do the, uh, so see, I could have done that on my little gingies this year too. Like, why couldn't I have put puffy paint on here, you know? I still could. I ended up putting that glitter on the um, icing. But he's so cute. But I could add puffy paint to that. I started putting the puffy paint on these ornaments because I made extras, like, in the middle of the, um, snowflakes instead of the bling because I put bling on mine. Anywho, this has glossy accents, stickles on the snowflake, but you can tell that's a Renee piece. So cute and simple. I think that was free um, from her website and I, t I did that on YouTube. Here's another Renee. This is from 2014 and it's on like a, I think they call this a barrel stave and I had these in my stash because when I would go to a convention, um, I would buy wood that you could that you wouldn't see in the regular craft stores, and then I would I hoarded it for like a while, and now I'm starting to go through it because I'm using what I have. Um, so that's another, and I want to say this was free too, but I just put it on here because um, I had the wood. All right, let's see. I think I'm pretty good. I showed you everything from that. I think I'm gonna go away and come back with a part two. Oops, Oop, I didn't show you this. We'll end with him. This, let's see. Um, I wanna say this is a, a Rosemary West design and I, or it could be Arlene Newman, but I didn't put my name or a date but the thing is, I know Rosemary, she's the one that does those topiaries that I collect topiaries and I've had them forever. I've done a lot of her topiaries. Um, just the way this is painted, these roses, the way the tree is painted, it's definitely her style, but I can't be sure. Look at this, the rifle. It has a rose with all this gold detail dots going all the way down the rifle so pretty i love this stuff so much you guys all the little details that's what gets me excited because when you're done you get, there's just so much to see it's not a true nutcracker but he's a little soldier i love him so i have a lot of stuff that just stands around like i have a santa collection i have one more thing right here these are some of my very, very first, I might as well. I have so much stuff, like the tree came down and everything's cleaned up, so this is it. I gotta put this stuff away. These are from Maxine Thomas, and I wanna say, she has books, she may have 14 books because they're called, uh, Maxine Thomas, Country Primitives is the name of her book line, and she has like one, two, three, four, up to 14, I think. And I think these were in one of her Country Primitive books, like maybe the first one or the second one and again no year but these are like family heirlooms now i had joe cut the wood and it's not even it's out of like two by fours it's not even out of like a thinner wood so these are they can actually stand up on a flat surface and i've had them forever so cute but you can tell it's beginner Look at the beard. Like, if I were to paint this again, it would be so different. It would look so different. Look at the um, the mushiness of the, sn of the fur. Like, it would just have more detail. I love doing the little stuff, though. The little details are always good because I just use a fine brush. But this would be separated so much nicer. His eyes, but his eyes turned out cute, you know? Um, all the detail stuff comes out fine, but... 
just the technique work I can tell I've just gotten much much better at like this was a wash her glasses were a wash and they I mean you can tell but it would be so much better anyway so those I have and then this guy let me just show you this guy oh another Renee this is our tissue box cover because I switch it out right now I have um a mixed media I think I have a decoupaged one that I made that I have on our that covers our tissue box in the um, family room but these are just the paper mache tissue boxes and I'm not sure if this was for a tissue box I want to say it was because and this is Renee Mullins and this is from 03 so that goes on our tissue box it's gonna get packed away now and then this this I want to say was from chapter as well and there's no date and also that it was by Susie something I can't think of her name and this is fabric so everyone got a board and this is not real wood it's that composite type stuff um, we got to choose our fabric I think everyone bought or you could go buy a little piece of um, uh, uh, Christmas fabric so I've done angels like this the angel that's behind me on my wall is um, fabric I'll get her down and I can't think of the artist Nancy Lenski so I'm wrong this is probably Nancy Lenski this is not Susie like the one that did the Santa can't say him. but anyway um, no date let's see if there's a date on this one nope no date and I've made a couple of these this is um an angel but this is fabric this is all fabric and then you just trace the design the whole thing is covered in the fabric um, and then you just so actually no this is cut right here right here is not fabric that's just wood but the rest of it is all fabric and then you just paint on the fabric and everything that you don't paint over shows up as the fabric so this was because she's a painting angel see she's painting the cardinal I wanted her colorful and I might have went overboard but you know <laughs> I think she looks beautiful I'm gonna hang her back up and see some of these things I honestly I will never part with them I just won't I I really feel like they're they're my children you know I made I made another one of these and I gave it to Jean she's my sister-in-law and she loves Christmas and so I see hers every Christmas but yeah like this is all fabric because look he has a hat a hood and I can tell this is fabric right here sticking out so that's that and I think that does it you guys I am gonna come back with a part two and those ornaments will be all um, mixed media or um, made, they're polymer clay, they're all different types of things that I've created since finding YouTube in, I want to say, 15? I don't think, I think I found it sooner. I don't know, maybe I've only been, I don't even remember. Anywho, alright you guys, thanks for watching.